EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, just north of San Diego, live second round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. So much to behold here at Torrey Pines, the ocean, the cliffs, the trees, the green grass, the blue sky, maybe even a paraglider or two as we check out the Friday leaderboard. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. This second round getting going from Torrey Pines, the second tournament of the year, and really the story folks are talking about has been the play of our featured golfer here. The win last week out at the American Express in that first ever professional appearance. And now here we are five days later, and Frank, that same name is up near the top of the leaderboard once again. I'm even more impressed this week, Rich. You know, so often we say horses for courses, but you couldn't get two more diverse golf courses than last week, flat track to now Torrey this week, which is a bona fide US Open golf course. If you can play well last week and win, that's one thing. If you can take that same game that you had and adapt it to this golf course, you just flat out good. Ah, I nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Well, the second hole here at Torrey Pine South is by no means long. But by the same token, it's not easy. This is strategic play, certainly off the tee. Put yourself in position. But a good angle at that whole location. Yeah, this is a hole where a big drive can really get you down there, and that is a big one here at two. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. And that's where the club twirled there. Beautifully judged. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. And she'll get it to 13 under. Well, this is one of the prettiest par threes you will ever see with the Pacific Ocean as a backdrop. You don't want to gaze at it too long because this better than 200 yard shot demands every bit of your focus and attention. This is a good one. That's going to be on the putting surface, and a birdie look straight ahead. Well, next week, the California swing continues. We head up the coast to Pebble Beach. There's nothing like it. The AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Yeah, it started all those years ago with all the Hollywood stars, the great thing was we used to be called the clam bike. But look what it's turned into now. Now golfers are the stars. And if you want to be part of this, there is no better place. Come to Pebble Beach. Here's one of the really good par fours at Torrey Pine South. Not only is it scenic, but it's challenging, and it requires a good tee shot, well struck in play, and you're happy to walk away with a par here. That will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 
Went 14 to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. With the sand wedge, and boy, does this look good. Uh, could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast, just a little short. Uh, maybe I'm being harsh. It's a good shot. Yeah, that's a well played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And she'll move to 15 under for the tournament. Next up here at Torrey Pines, the par four fifth, measuring 454 yards. Good tee shot, should take the fairway bunkers out of play. This par four fifth here at Torrey Pines South measures 454 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Oh, this could be good. Nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. That missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. One finished off. Here it is apart here at five. And she's going to hold tight at 15 under. All right, so you've made your way through some of those harder par fours, and now you get a chance to lick your chops at this par five. The sixth is 564 yards with a good tee shot. You'll have a chance of getting home in two and maybe making a three. This a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for eagle three. Superb. On to the seventh. Now a tough hole here. A winding par four at 462 yards. It is the number one handicap hole on the south course. And for good reason. An approach shot from anything other than the fairway is fraught with peril with a canyon beyond and a deep right front bunker guarding an angled and difficult to hit green. Well, what a feel. Eagle on the previous hole, just swinging easy and just stripes another one. Um, you playing with house money? Uh, this nota, her second from the fairway. She's left herself with 106 yards to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. This is the sand wedge has gotten a lot of this one, and it's gonna be just a fraction long. 
Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. And rushed in. It is a birdie here at seven. And that will move her score to 18 under par. We arrive now at the second part three on the front side, the uphill 177 yard eight. Critical to avoid the large front bunker and get your shot to the right level of this two-tiered green. You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eight. And she'll move now to 19 under. We finished the front side here at Torrey Pines at the 615 yard par five ninth, reachable into by only the longest hitters, but with a good drive and that aggressive layup, birdie is definitely a possibility. And a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Shot that is home in two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Yeah, that's a little more uphill than you think, and that's going to come up a bit short. Now this for another birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that'll wrap up a front side that was absolutely a thing of beauty. How about eight under 28? Always nice to kickstart your back nine with a birdie. And you'll have a chance if, again, and we, we keep repeating this theme at Torrey Pines, if you hit a good tee shot, then you can attack. <laughs> that one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. That got a fortunate bounce. Oh, it'll be just fine. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. Go. 
Uh, she's got great balance on that swing. So you see, just picks the iron shot off the turf and, well, the result, inside 10 feet. Well done. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. So that's in for par to start this backside. And she's going to stay at 20 under. Moving now to the tough 11th hole here at Torrey Pines. Long downhill par three measuring 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Chance now for another birdie. And break won't be a big worry, but speed will. This is going to pick up momentum as it works down the slope. Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. So that brushed in for a par here at 11. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Up next, the 505 yard par 4 12th at Torrey Pines. You can be aggressive off the tee here, and you should be, because if you do not hit a good drive, you're not going to get it home in two. That one looking a little right. We've all been going straight up until that one. A little bit of a test coming up. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Coming up, Roses for our leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. Moving now to the massive 621 yard par 513. You'll need a drive of 240 yards plus to carry that canyon. And if you go for the green in two, the second shot has to carry 260 yards or so. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive here. Okay, that's going to get down toward the base of the hill. A lot of divots down there, and that will leave a difficult third. Okay, on the green, but it's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Now this for another birdie. Oh, the pace was spot on. That ball somehow 
just decided not to go down. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And she'll hold tight at 21 under par. We now arrive at the 437-yard par for 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. So here at the 437-yard par for 14th, that canyon that you can see running along the left side is, is pretty to look at. But obviously, you want to stay away from there because you can make a big number if you hit your tee shot down there. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Not a big issue, though it is in the rough. Should have a go at this one. Second shot now, 14th hole. Nice approach shot, and another good thing about that, left it below the hole. Just gonna sneak on by. No well, issues there. It is a par here at 14. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. On to the 15th now. Relatively straightforward par four measuring out at 480 yards. Hit the ball straight you'll be just fine. The problems come with a miss off the tee left or right into the rough near those eucalyptus trees. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Oh, just a, a beautiful performance. And this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. Ah, yes. Never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And she'll get it to 22 under par. Coming down the home stretch here at Torrey Pines, 227 yard, par 316. Three bunkers protecting the green, but there is an opening in the front. Okay, that one's dancing. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and the break here from right to left is the main consideration. It's fairly flat overall. You've got to consider the line. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And she'll remain at 22 under. Crucial 17th hole here at Torrey Pines. 443 yard par four. Louis Oosthuizen hit it left here at the 2021 US Open in the final round. And he paid the price. He did not win that major. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. Oh, it's 
It's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike, and look how close that is. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for birdie here at 17. And she'll move to 23 under par. Here we are at the finishing hole at Torrey Pines, 570 yard, 18. Idyllic par five, fairly straight the whole way, but that pond they call Devlin's Billabong always makes going for the green into a risky proposition. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. shot at a hole where we have seen some great moments by great players through the years. Not too bad. Didn't quite get it far enough left and maybe a little too gentle as well. Okay, birdie at the last. It is a birdie birdie finish. And that will just miss being around in the 50s. Two putts here means it's a 60. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabilo. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. For Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.